morning. I am just out on my morning walk. I have a little friend with me today, or not so little actually, a huge friend with me today, just at the local park. Today we are going to Rotterdam, so we're leaving Belgium, driving north into the Netherlands. It's about an hour's drive away from, um, from Antwerp, so we're going to go and have a little explore around Rotterdam. This park is lovely though, I really like it. There should be water down there, but there isn't, but there's so many rabbits there's like you can't probably see them on camera but there's about five over there this one goes crazy every time we see any rabbits but yeah it's really nice it's a nice place for a little morning run i've got to go and pick up the car from where i parked it yesterday i don't really understand the parking if you didn't see yesterday i don't understand the parking in uh, antwerp to be honest there's signs that i just don't understand and i probably should know them like considering <laughs> i have a driving license and i've tried googling them and i just don't understand the parking to be honest but anyway so i parked yesterday on my morning run i went and parked outside what's known as the ring and from what i've been told you don't have to pay for parking outside the ring so you think you've parked in a space where it's okay but i'm not sure we will see when uh, when we go and walk to it. it's about 2k away yeah it's about two kilometers away where i've parked in the house look here's two of the rabbits can't get too close because if I get too close this one will just oh no don't come this way rabbits this one will just have a failed day <laughs> and yank me we're finally out we're almost at the car we've had to walk it's about two and a half kilometers so we've had to park the car I'm sure that it's a closer place but I haven't discovered it yet hopefully it's here hopefully we haven't got some ticket or like I've no idea I'm not sure they to it Right, it should be around here somewhere. Do you think you can see it? Is that it there? Okay, car's still here. And... No ticket or anything. That's a win for me. Right, we are off to Rotterdam. Oh, drop the car keys. And to a new country, Stephen. Never been to the Netherlands. I've never been to the Netherlands either, actually. New country for both of us. We've arrived, we're in Rotterdam, or we're just outside Rotterdam. We've just parked up in a park and ride. And now we've got to try and find the ride element of this. Oh, you did it! <laughs> okay. Um, this way. Oh, we don't know what we're doing. We're having to get the metro. Oh, quick. Is there one there now? Oh, has it? Okay. We think this is our chain. I think. I'm sure it is. Let's get on and see. It is. Sling. Five stops. Six stops. The, the one that we get on that. The woman that I love. Ah, here we are. Welcome to the centre of Rotterdam. It is not a nice day to be honest as it's, it's stopped pouring it's been pouring down the whole drive here so actually this isn't so bad so we have no real huge plan other than it's kind of like a whistle stop tour really of Rotterdam we're just gonna do like a loop around and just have a little wander if there's anywhere that sort of spikes our interest I have like marked a couple of places on the map like the Maritime Museum or whatever and if we want to go in then we'll go in if not we'll just just kind of mooch around really. Our first stop is going to be Mark Thor, which is, from my understanding, well, just the building. a... Oh yeah, there's the building. Stephen knows, just from a little brief history thing I gave him of Rotterdam before, he knew what that building was called. Well, actually, we didn't know what it's called. I don't it's, know it's called the... Now, it's no, called I can't, we can't remember what it's called, but it's the only medieval, medieval building. building that survived. <laughs> yeah, that it survived in Rotterdam. Um, yeah, we're going to Mark Thor, which is I think it's like offices and shops, like a market. So, oh, is it the parking? It's around here somewhere. It is called the Grote of Sin Laurentic and it was built in 1449. Oh, it's Easter stuff. This is it. Are you hungry? This is it. Check out the ceiling. Wow. 
Should we have a little wander? Yeah, avocado, Italian spoon, not this. Oh yeah, it's avocado. And a raspberry bubble. Oh yeah, a raspberry bubble. Oh, <laughs> oh look at that ladybird. Yeah. Mmm, they look delicious. Found dragon fruit. <laughs> Mm. You can't buy anything. Oh, we're gonna taste some mango. <gasps> Look! Three for one ninety nine. We're gonna get some fries from here. Mm. We're leaving. I'm glad we went in there, right? That was quite good. Ooh. And oh my goodness, yeah, it's down to rain. Here are the cube houses, which are crazy. We're going to go and take a look at them. Here's the growth of St. Lawrence Shirk from the other side. Look at them. They're insane. I don't even understand how it works, to be honest. It's crazy. Like, how the hell? I'm sure you can actually go in and visit one of them, but I don't know where it is. They're just weird, right? The rain is starting to come down a bit heavier now, right? Uh, this is the Woot House. Woot, Woot House? Is that how you say it? White House. It's the Wait. only building in... Uh, I thought I'd stop the recording. The only building in the, the only... of Rotterdam that survived World War II. The Blitz. The Blitz, yeah. It's the only building that survived. The Blitz in Central Rotterdam. Pretty yeah, cool. World War II. Oh, if it was a sunny day, how nice would it be? Sit there. But oh no. This is what we've got. We're getting you very good. Get you could get a what? You get Stephen's learning his, uh, practicing his dots. Mm -hmm. Not going very well, is it? <laughs> Somebody else and I will have to let her go. She will never know, na na. Never know, na na. She will never know, na na. Never know. Like she stole my heart Look, how nice it Without it knowing she did yeah. But I guess that it will pass Yeah, I can't be the only one Who got lost inside the blue of those eyes I've gotta let her go I know it won't be easy I wanna hold her close To try, try as hard as I can Cause she'll never be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before She <laughs> it. Never oh, very quick whistle stop tour of water damage It's a shame the weather was so crap to be honest but never mind just before we head back to Antwerp, we are just heading over to a little place just east of Rotterdam called Kinder Dick. I don't know, something like that. But apparently it's a really beautiful place with some windmills. It's only like 18 kilometres east. Well, it's not 18 kilometres east. That's the journey time. 60 minutes to get there. It's kind of on our way home. Not really on our way home, but whilst we're here, we're going to go and take a little look. We've almost arrived. I was following my sat nav and it was like, turn right. And I turned right and I was like, there's just water here. I didn't understand what well, there's cars in front of me. But you have to pay. Where, do, where did you get the you have to pay? My, your eyesight's better than mine. But you get a, um, on the map, look, it just like, I thought it was a bridge, but it is not a bridge. You have to get a little. Actually, it might be 475. Very 475. So, yeah, I think it says two euros a car. And then... It says 275 for two people in a car. Oh. 
Could it take you forever? It's all the way on the other side, the little boat thing that you get on. Here's our ride across the river. I don't think I've ever been on one of these. Ooh, on we get. Something have priority. They've been banned. Something have priority. Oh, yeah. We're on. That wasn't too bad. It's 275. Are we going? Yeah. Oh, we're going. 275 it was for the car. I thought, like, I'll show you the windmills in a second. I thought that we could just go wandering down the canal and just take some pictures. But it looks like you have to pay to get in. I don't know. Like, if it's a couple of euro, I don't mind. But I'm not paying. I'm really tight like that. But, oh, yeah. <laughs> I think this may be as actually, close really nice. as we're getting to the windmills. What? Yeah, actually really nice. Well, I think... If it was a nice day, like Stephen just said, if it was a nice day, I think I'd probably pay. It's like 5.50 euro to go through. But to be honest, like I just wanted to go and see it, get a few <laughs> Insta photos, and I don't feel like it's worth 5.50 each. I'm going this way. Okay, but I want to look Oh, Stephen's going to look at this big thing. I don't know what it is. Whatever this is. I wonder why that's is it not like pulling up the water or something? What? Doing what to the water? Pulling it up like to make... Oh, it's so cold! We're going. That's, that's about the lot of kinder... I'm calling it kinder dick. How ditch. do you say it? Ditch. Stephen's got a better accent than me. Kinder ditch. We're leaving this place. This is Jay. It's got a J. Nice yeah, scene. I don't know how you pronounce things in um, Dutch. Dutch. Kinder Ditch. But I can oh, imagine yeah, that that. Got rain on me. I can imagine that that is a really nice thing to do in the summer well, when it's not cold. Like my hands are cold. We're soaking wet. <laughs> um, yeah, you can do like a boat ride up, and there's just like loads of loads of windmills, and it would take some beautiful photos, I think. But never mind. Not for us today. We kind of seen it. Now we're going to drive back. But I have to try, try as hard as I can. Cause you'll never be mine. I listen when she talks. I watch her when she walks. She's giving me these feelings that I never felt before. The wider around Germany, of course, also. <laughs> We're back home, back in Antwerp. We quickly, like, literally just ran in the house, dumped our stuff, and I have taken them, taking this one out for a walk because he's been by himself all day. So, we're going to go out for a super long walk and then I'm going to go home. Oh, go home and cook some tea because we haven't really eaten anything all day. Oh, we've had all day, really. Are those, uh, are those fries? But to be honest, neither of us are feeling that hungry, but yeah, I'll cook tea. And then I need to work when we get home. I think he's definitely up for disturbing. Can you see there's a white rabbit, a duck and a brown rabbit. He's definitely up for uh, running after them. He's a brave little thing. He's not, oh no, there we go. <laughs> he's running away. Oh. <laughs> You can't get him. 